we are in music appreciation with Mr. Mashmeyer, Johnny Crash, and Mr. Barry, Barry Sachs. We Hello. are going to talk about another new genre, and um, well, it shouldn't be a new instrument. Uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous, isn't it, on this particular version of the song. Uh, we are going to listen to, analyze, and talk about our feelings when it comes to John Legend's All of Me. Beautiful song, very stripped down, and an incredibly musical performance in this particular version. So, um, there are four questions on our assignment number nine. Um, the first question, you're going to want to decide what the genre is. And so, uh, I always recommend that you write down a guess and then and research it and see if your guess is correct. Because if you do that, well then you're gonna get better at deciding what the genre is. So the second one is, of course, what instruments did you hear? And uh, just remember, there are two who count singers as instruments. All right, now here's the tough one. This is very tough for 14 year olds to do. Um, how does the song make you feel? Oh, you can talk about your feelings. Oh my goodness. You will not burst into flames when you talk about your feelings. So, look at number four. Number four, you kind of have to explain to us what that means. Uh, it's kind of like when we talk about the burger, you know? If I uh, am describing to you a McDonald's burger and I say that it's good, what does good mean to me? Uh, could be something different to you. So you need to kind of explain why it makes you feel this way. Some examples uh, could be, I really love the words that he's singing. Uh, the words talk to me and they, they make me feel whatever. Or um, the way he's playing the piano is absolutely gorgeous. And so it makes me very relaxed. Or it could even be something as simple as, well, uh, I had a student in my seventh grade class today that answered, that song was played at my auntie and uncle's wedding, and they have both since passed, so it makes me very sad when I hear it. Those are, you know, memories are brought up by, by the power of music. So those are just a couple examples of what we mean by explain uh, why you think it means, makes you feel that way, okay? So here we go with our... Um, Presentation. I got to talk to myself here. All right, Tab. <clears throat> this is a really neat version of this song. It's different from um, the usual uh, studio. It's live, but it's still stripped down like normal. And uh, it's just really a fantastic performance, partially because he is just playing an absolutely beautiful instrument. Here we go. All right, here we go. Ready? One, two, ready? And. Oh, I, oh, love I love being here at this, uh, uh, this, this hotel. hotel. All right, what a beautiful song. So, um, did you guys notice that was uh, what is called a grand piano? Uh, that's probably about a $50,000 instrument. I believe that was uh, maple, um, bird's eye maple wood. Uh, beautiful instrument. Um, but anyway, so that is a grand piano. That's the one that looks really, really long. Uh, you also have the baby grand. Uh, you can have an upright grand or a regular upright. These are all the different kinds of pianos that you can see, but that is in fact an acoustic piano that just happened to be a concert grand. So anyway, what do you guys think the genre is? Okay, yeah, Jarrell, that it could be considered blues. Go ahead, Cedric. Definitely could be blues. Okay, R and B. Soul. Kindle there just said soul. Soul R and B. Yes. If you were yes. to look this up, it it's literally this genre R and B. No, not disco. I, I would say that it's, it can be considered soul, and then also it's considered R and B. Okay, can somebody tell me what R and B actually means? That's right. Rhythm and blues. You are correct. So for years, blues singers, you know, they were really sound and unhappy. They have the blues. That's the point of the blues. And it was just a particular style. And so 
then somebody went, you know, I think maybe we should speed this up a little bit, and we should sing about some other stuff besides just being blue. And so, hence, R&B was um, founded. So, it's very closely related to blues, and soul is uh, right there in that same area. It is actually two different genres, um, but it has elements of both. And you're going to find that some music you cannot so easily put into a nice little box. Now, this is just rock, or this is just country, or this is only jazz. Um, you know, there's a type of music we're going to listen to later that's called jazz fusion. The reason why it's called jazz fusion is because it's, it's jazz rhythms fused with rock sensibility. And so, anyway, that's why we practice. So, we will all get better at this as we go. All right, so what instruments did we see here? Piano for sure. What else? What else did we discuss that's also an instrument that you heard? His voice. Yes, so yes. yes. It, how would we say that his voice, how did we teach you how to put that down? Anybody on the band side? No. Leads there we go. Cesaria, but... Is it a guy or a girl? Oh, That's right, male lead singer, good Azaria. Okay, so the two instruments in that, because remember in this class we consider singers to be instrumentalists as well because they are, they are playing their voice. They are singing from their voice, which is the first instrument technically. Um, so, John Legend, obviously a male singer. He's the only one, so he's got to be the lead singer. So he is the male lead singer. No backups in that puppy at all. Now, this is actually kind of a short assignment because the next two questions we can't help you with. We can't tell you how to feel, and we can't tell you why you feel that way. So you're going to have to dig deep and answer those two questions and then turn in assignment number nine. While you're doing that, Mr. Barry and I are going to bid a fond farewell to our music uh, warriors. Um, by the way, subscribe, everybody subscribe to uh, Warrior Musician YouTube channel. There's a little subscribe thing right down there. You just press that button. And then there's a little bell there too. Uh, you can click on that bell and then when Mr. Barry or I are, are just me post a new video, you'll get a notification for that video. So remember, Warrior musician, warrior musician. All right, so Mr. Barry. All right, guys, it's been great, but peace out. <laughs> we love you guys and have a great day. We'll see you again tomorrow. Later. <laughs>